All right, so we are gonna talk about the warm up um, that we've got today. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some wrist push ups, just getting the wrists going. We've got push ups in the workout today. So I want you to start with the backs of your hands on the ground, and you're just gonna push up into a fist and then back down. So that's all it is literally up into a fist and back down. For 10, you wanna do one arm and then do the other arm, that's also fine. Just doing 10, 10 total. All right, the next thing we've got um, some monster walks or hip warm ups. Um, so I've got a stretchy band that uh, doesn't have an end. Uh, I said that last time too. That has ends. Yeah, okay. Um, so what I've done is I've just tied a knot in it and then I'm going to put it around my knees just like we use usually do with the bands at the gym. You can use anything. Um, you don't even have to use a band if you don't have anything, that's totally fine. So what the monster walks are gonna do, we're gonna keep the torso upright and we're gonna bend at the knees, pressing the knees out, okay? So I want you to think about pushing your feet to the outsides of your feet, the weight to the outsides of your feet. You're gonna step out and back together. You can do it in place like this. Um, you can go a couple of steps. You can go the length of your house, whatever you've got, okay? Um, if you don't have a band, you can do the same thing um, where you can just do it without a band. Okay, so you're stepping out. Really think about squeezing your glutes and stepping out, pressing to the outside of your feet, and then coming back together, keeping those knees bent, okay? Some other things that you can do to warm up the hips, um, if you have a band, you've got squats in the workout today, so you can put the band back around um, the legs. You can work on out and in. You can work on single leg, out and in. Um, you can do the one this a little bit tighter here where you put it around your ankles you plant one foot you go out and back in with each foot do 10 on each side um, you can also just do the ones so you can do it in place or walking where you're stepping picking the knee up and over almost imagine that you have um, like a gate or a hurdle or something that you're picking your leg up and over so do a few of those. Um, then we're gonna continue to warm up the hips. So I want you to go into a squat and then a kneeling position, back into a squat and stand. Okay, so the goal of this is that we get the hips below the knee crease before we get into the kneeling position. Same thing, get all the way into the bottom of the squat and then stand back up, okay? So work on your squats while you're at it. Try to keep the feet flat, then go to kneeling then come back, feet flat, stand. 10 of those. Um, then we've got single arm, either a dumbbell row or a kettlebell row, okay? So you can do this just from the ground. Uh, I've got a kettlebell here. So I'm gonna plant one hand, I'm gonna pick the weight up with the other hand and back down, okay? If I'm on the ground like this, I don't have a huge range of motion, but that's totally fine, okay? Um, otherwise, if you want to, you can use a chair or a stool or a bench or a couch, something like that where you can plant one hand, have the other knee also on that surface, and then you're going to go from the ground, pulling up to the chest and back down. So this is just a much bigger range of motion here. Same concept, same movement. Really want you to think about squeezing the shoulder blade together, or the shoulders together when you get to the top. Um, squeeze all of your shoulder muscles as much as you can. 10 of those, uh, 10 each arm on those. All right, then we've got hollow rocks and arch rocks. So just like usual, um, we're gonna start in the hollow rock position. The further up you have your arms and feet, the easier it is. Think about pressing the belly button towards the spine, rocking back and forth. You can leave your arms and legs out, okay? Either way. And then same thing on the other side. When you get to this side, think about squeezing those toes together. Thumbs up towards the ceiling. Rocking back and forth, keeping the toes together as much as possible. Okay? 10 of those. 20 of those. 20 of those on each side. And then finishing it off with a wall walk. Okay? So with a wall walk, again, we're working on our upside down positioning or our handstand positioning. So go to whatever feels comfortable and stay there. Okay. You don't have to do the full wall, wall walk if you're not comfortable with it, especially if those of you who are still really new. Um, still really good positioning to just work in a bear crawl. Okay, So this is a position that we want to start in. We want to have the hands planted about a forearm's distance apart from each other. We want the hips 
pushing up to the ceiling, I want to think about pushing, uh, like I put my head in between my knees if I could, okay? Shoulders should be down and away from the ears. If this feels okay, you can just hang out here and get comfortable and confident there. You can do like a 30 second hold or something, okay? Um, if you want to take it to the next level, what you do is you put your feet on a surface behind you. I recommend taking your shoes off, taking your socks off if you're going to be inside. Um, I'm going to use a door that is securely closed, okay? I'm going to plant my hands from here and start almost in a plank position, okay? And then stepping the toes up onto the surface, okay? Um, I have my toes up a little bit higher here because uh, it's kind of slippery, so this is where I'm going to start, okay? If you want to, you can go further. You can walk the hands back. You can walk the toes up. Just go to where you feel comfortable. If you're here and you're like, yep, this is good, stay there. You want to keep going all the way up. We want to stay in that hollow position, toes and nose against the wall, okay? We don't want to lean against it with our torso. We want to keep the belly away from the wall. Nice hollow position, and then going back down the same way that we came up. We want to be nice and controlled with that movement, okay? So spend your take your time on it. Um, really get comfortable with that position, walking those hands on the shoulders. You don't have to go all the way up. I'd rather have you have good position and a hollow core here, pulling the rib cage down towards the hips instead of being like this. You wanna be like this, okay? All right, so that is the warm up for the workout.